Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Inca. So, in the previous episode we finally managed to conquer Cordoba and uh, uh, today we will focus on another city, Mercia. This time the army is, well, almost in position. We just need to move everything like two or three tiles to the east. I think we'll start... Um, where, where are we gonna start? Uh, with our fusiliers, move them just to scout this area a little bit. No units. That means we should be able to move quite aggressively. Uh, you can move for the indirect fire, but let's move this guy to the jungle we need as many ranch units for the siege as possible the city also has strength almost 100 uh replacements on this side in case we need them and now we will have to check promotions hmm Okay, this guy can stay here. He has indirect fire, so this is fine. This is also indirect fire. I was thinking about moving closer to Madrid. See if we can survive the city bombardment. Because this gives us a oh, wait. Why are you moving back, dude? Don't do that. Uh, but another musket man with indirect fire can attack from this tile. I wanted to try that. You know what? You will move there. I know that I lost two attacks on this turn, but not the end of the world. Uh, you can move this way. What about the worker? Uh, let's get a connection to Cordoba. We almost have the road. I know that Cordoba is already connected with the seaport, uh, but I wouldn't mind having a land connection as well. And now, you don't have indirect fire, but you have extra ranged. Uh, so that means this tile, unit repairs, this one. That's also extra range without indirect fire. That means this tile. Corbett can stay in the city. And we'll save that artist for later. We are pretty close to archaeology. Once we get uh, the, uh, the bonuses from museums, uh, we should get probably like 10 turns of Golden Age from the uh, great artist. It shouldn't take too long. We will save him. My guess is like 30 turns, something like that. This guy has what? Does doesn't have anything. So that means we want to use him on this tile, and the great general will start moving as well. Good. Anything else? move another unit closer to Madrid want to give the city as many targets as possible hoping that it won't attack the musket man although it's quite unlikely the AI is now better at choosing targets it's focusing on either range units or siege units okay go and let's watch this great Alexander declared on Washington that's exactly what we need hopefully it's gonna be a long war uh, with like no gains on either side no no open borders for you uh yeah you admire me nice but that guy is irrelevant uh no 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 open borders for anyone okay it's bombarding the fusilier that was the only damaged unit damaged unit in range <clears throat> We will just keep it there. It's sitting in our territory, uh, which means we should be able to heal the damage. Let's see what are we doing here? Uh, maybe what we could do is just work on this road in the middle as well. It's quite a long one. Let's 
get it up as soon as possible. You can move this way. Quick repair. Now the field gun. 45, 45. Look like here. Get rid of the Corvette. work right oh this guy doesn't have the range damn I still don't have the damage. Are you kidding me? Have you really want to get rid of the ship? Okay, start attacking the city. Fortify. We'll move back. We have the replacement. Fortify, fortify. Fortify. And how did this guy get here? He doesn't have indirect fire. Gems to Alexander, it's probably a trade we want to renew. Gems... It's not bad. How much would it be? 2 gold per turn? And look at Alexander, he has only 272 gold per turn. That's really surprising for someone uh, who controls the religion with thrift. Let's pay him 2 gold per turn, and this is a pretty good trade. Back... What else? Okay, four turns. Get the workshop. Work more food. And uh, this is the last one. Twenty-five. That is a noticeable difference. Okay, let's work another C tile. Go. Which one is this? Wait, shouldn't I have one, two? Oh, we have three musket men with indirect fire. Okay, so that's one, two, and third one in the jungle. Uh, fortify, fortify. And start working on the road or railroad, rather. Next, hopefully this wasn't too aggressive. Uh, declare war on Washington. No, I don't think so, especially not for just open borders. Um, I 
I think we can still get a little bit more from this war. Uh, great diplomat, nice. And uh, what about the Corvette? I think I want the visibility range because I want to use my ships basically or my surface ship as, as spotters for my submarine fleets. Yeah, let's get the visibility. Get yeah, another kill. Okay, Diplomat. We'll send him to Biblos, but all I want from him is uh, extra vote in the Congress. Mm. Yeah, let's move you. So I think I will just replace this guy. Or maybe this one because the city is focusing him. And uh, the field gun. Can we move all the way? No. How are we doing here? I probably want to start building museums as soon as possible. And that's what? Parents? Hmm. Could maybe get a harbor, but I don't really care about harbors in these cities. We are not working that many uh, coastal tiles. Oh, well, it's just three turns. Okay, let's do that. Uh, you finish the zoom. I guess I'll get the... now. Let's get the public school. We don't need those museums in all cities right away. I'll just get the Herbalist. It's still two turns, not one turn. Hmm, whatever. This guy's pretty close to promotion. Let's try to get it before we have to retreat. Fortify. And keep bombarding the city. Can hide. Back. Might have been a mistake, actually. I probably want this guy. Uh, actually. Too risky. Oh, let's let's go back. I was thinking maybe I could uh, leave the damage unit in the range of Madrid so it keeps bombarding it, but there is a risk uh, some uh, units would join and we could lose the Fusilier. Next. And you'll move closer for the next turn. Good. One gold pattern for open borders. Nope. Need open borders anymore. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Now Madrid is bombarding the musket man. Oh well. Hmm. 
Can we start removing some roads now? How do you want to connect Mercia? I think this is the best way. Do we have a railroad on this top? Nope. Let's get that. How far can this guy go? Let's play it safe. And let's see how much damage can we do. That's not bad. Oh, another ship, really? Um, can we send maybe the second Corvette? Don't have to protect Biblos anymore. Six, two, four, six. I probably don't want to. Embark here. I could just embark on this tile. That should be two, four, six. Yeah, that's safe. Just get another public square, we shouldn't delay those. <clears throat> Next. Those who cannot remember the past. Okay, archaeology. So, what are the bonuses? Nothing interesting. Oh. I'm always checking for the yield changes because that's one thing I don't really remember. So, I'm trying to memorize which tags are important for these yields. But definitely not archaeology, at least not for us. Hey, another city-state. This one, uh, neutral militaristic, that's not a bad one. How many city-states does Greece control? And yeah, they'll, they'll take over completely, I would say. Wow, and look at that. So far, even decent positions. Won't really destroy any important improvements. But wow, that's great. It both requests a road. Could do that. How much influence would that be? Oh, this is trade route. No, I don't know. This one. It's production for our capital. Hmm.
And 164 influence, that's a lot. So we'll just uh, get this archaeological site. What's the influence? Oh, just 19 more. That's actually pretty easy with those two quests. Okay. One of our workers will start building the road as soon as possible. And uh, uh, how are we doing in the capital? Two turns. Don't have public school. It's queued up. Hmm. Speed things up a bit. And once this, these are finished, we'll start spamming archaeologists in our capital, I think. And considering how many sites we have, I may do the same thing here. I know that I just spent quite a lot of gold that I've been saving up for units upgrades, but I think this is worth it. A little bit of extra science. Hmm. What are we doing here? Two turns. Come on, work faster. It's probably too long. Let's just lock the village. Not the best style, but it's okay. Now, research. Uh, we want to get uh, to dynamite now because our musketmen need upgrading desperately. And by the way, uh, Gatling guns have a range too, so we won't be losing range on our units. So cruisers might not be horrible, although we don't have that much iron. Yeah, I really just want to wait for submarines. Hopefully we'll get enough aluminum for those. Let's think what we want to get after dynamite. Plus one food from Terra's farm. That sounds pretty good. I guess a fertilizer. I don't really care about colonists this time. Stock exchanges wouldn't be horrible. I think I'll just get the fertilizer and uh, then we decide what we want to get next. We'll see how the situation looks like by the time we get there. Okay, orders. Um, or railroads. I think this is just too much damage. Let's move back. We'll still have units in the range of Madrid, but our Fusiliers can handle it. The Musketman is a bit too squishy. Okay, go. Uh, yeah, more railroads. I think this is a wonder that requires artistry. I don't really care. Yep. Oh, is that the railroad, or did I miss something? No, there we go. Hmm. 
and we should probably send someone to improve that salt. Oh no, what's it the desire? Silver. What's the reward for getting silver? Um, bit of gold. Actually, 780 is not bad. Anybody who has silver. I don't see any silver on the map. Might be a resource that just isn't in the game. Or it's just under control of a city-state or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's two turns difference. I think that's reasonable. We'll get engineer in 22 turns. Scientist in four. So that's the workshop that we want to look right away. And again, aqueduct into garden. We are done with the harbor. Can't get those archaeologists until I get my public schools. But do we have public schools in all these cities? I don't think so. I think we are missing one. This one got it first. And oh, we have it everywhere. Okay. What's the next city with low production? Probably gonna be one of these two. I guess Geneva. And yeah, we want to lock the school. How are we doing? We're a great merchant. We may want to lock the bank, but all the tiles that we are working are okay ish, so that we'll have to wait. And I'll just do some more damage. I think we might be able to get this city in like two turns. Let's try to take it in this episode. Definitely didn't expect us to take another city, just one episode, but we could try. We want scientific theory. I could maybe... Actually, he doesn't have the money. If he had money, I would probably sell it to him. He is not the, a factor in this game anymore. We could try... Maybe Ostag, seldom attack. They don't have that much money, but still 24 gold per turn that we could get. Defensive pact with Germany. I think it's too late for that. At this point, all this could lead to would be like a war with Greece. I think I'll refuse. Earlier in the game, I'll definitely take it. And here's the plus one range. Good. How's the field gun doing? Oh, 
What we could do for this turn, actually, I'll still be in city bombardment range. And attack once. And then move back. Oh, come on. Dude, that just reminded me I wanted to trade with him, but that was his great diplomat that removed our influence. What do you want to give him? Navigation. 27. And sanctions. No, we don't want to sanction Spain. Scholars in residence and Greek sphere of influence. Where? Well, let's try go against that. Okay, it's easy. How much do you want for? Interesting. I guess we'll take all of this. That was a good deal. Oh, and our happiness is going down. Why is that? It's not the war weariness. War weariness is more or less the same. May have to start working on religious divisions instead of um, those public schools. And it's also most likely because we lost Biblos. Yeah, that would make sense. The village is a bit better. Um, does it make any difference? Actually, wood. Okay, let's get more production then. First garden, what are our options now? And now I think we want the windmill. And then we'll start working on... Maybe then we can get a grocer. And then anything that gives culture. Or for these cities, arsenal might not be a bad idea. But definitely windmill first. Who needs orders? Just build as many roads as possible. Um, and the road to Biblos can wait. Next. Defensive pack with you. No, you are the next target. I want to vassalize uh, both Spain and Polynesia so that our continent is safe and we can focus uh, on other continents. How much are you paying for a horse? I don't think I want to sell more horses to him at this point. 
unless probably can't get ten gold per turn. No. Let's just take nine. May I sell those horses to America? Just make him stronger. Go ahead. So this is not good enough. You'd have to pay at least 120-ish so that we could get two gold per turn for every horse. The quick herbalist. Public school, then the museum. And uh, here we can start working on that city connection. I'd be able to take the city on the stern even. Let's see. How many hit points? 43. Thirty-seven. I think we'll wait. Yeah, not being attacked by anything. Next turn we can still get some extra experience uh, for our musket man. I think it's not a huge difference if we take it now or the next turn. And I really don't want my facilities to take damage while attacking the city because I want to have a healthy front line that can immediately start moving to Madrid. There's our great merchant. Um, okay, let's try to get out of here. Hmm. Germany, are you at war with anyone? No. Can I get open borders from you so that... I can hide my ship. It'll be two gold per turn. Problem is, Spanish ships are faster than mine. Two, four. What about open borders from Greece? Same thing. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Make sure that they're not at war. Oh, he is at war with Spain. Oh. Was nun? Guess I'll have to do it this way. And hide. Hmm. I'll think about the Great Merchant of Camera. I'll most likely use him for another town. Just have to figure out where. Um, let's get some more experience for our siege units. And make sure that we have enough shots to kill the Fusilier. So. 
attack. Now we can take the city without any problems. Okay, pretty good. We didn't lose anything important. Oh, and I did it the wrong way. I didn't realize this guy has extra damage against units under 50%. Oops. And of course, I can't hit him from this tile. Damn it! This should work though. Go through all the pop ups quickly. How many turns to get steam power? Still three turns. I guess we'll uh, see if we get coal in the next episode. I'm quite curious, but three turns that still would take too long. Or actually, we get the great scientist. We could go uh, one more turn. Forest isn't bad. And now when we are not friends, I probably shouldn't be in the city-state territory. Okay, another workshop. 22 turns is quite a long time, but we'll get that aqueduct so that should help. Uh, do we have to build a railroad? No. Normal road will be fine. This could be a decent city. Or maybe this one. Ah, uh, this one. And I should probably uh, escort that guy. Now, Madrid. One, two. Uh, maybe it's not safe. Hmm. Probably start moving forward too soon. We don't have wrench units ready yet. Uh, we have a city connection. We do. But we need to fix quite a few tiles. Let's maybe do that. Fortify, fortify. Next. And I hope that I didn't miss something. We won't lose a unit. Probably not. It's just our melee units sitting next to Madrid. Uh, it's fine. Even those uh, fusiliers are not moving forward for some reason. There is our great scientist. Oh, hello. Another one there. This is not a bad city location.
Can we ha get home this way safely? Yeah, we should be able to. Okay, so it's another zoo finished, public school, and museum. How is our capital doing? Four more turns to get that museum so we can start spamming our archaeologist. Um, hmm. I know that I'm still in bombardment range of a city, but at least I'm not sitting in bombardment range of one, two, three, two cities. Yep. And I really need to cover this side, at least with one unit. Okay, fingers crossed. We need coal. We need a lot of coal. I would like to build factories. I probably never had enough coal in any Let's Play to build factories in all my cities. It would be nice to get that at least once. And also we need uh, uh, some seaports. Production from mines and quarries. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's maybe a bit more than I expected, but let's see. Okay, we are not losing any improvements here. I guess you'll have to rebuild some uh, uh, terrace farms. Actually, it's under the jungle. Here we are going to lose a village. That's not the end of the world. Some terrace farms. We actually have some coal. We have quite a lot of coal right away. Uh, look, at, look at this city. Just... Three land tiles and two of those are coal and then it's a luxury. This it was definitely worth it. Uh, yeah, we already have this because this is a great person improvement. Okay, well. This could be... This should be definitely a strategic monopoly that will be useful, but this even could be a global monopoly, because this really is a lot of coal. Let me see if other people have coal as well. Well, they definitely do, but how much coal they have, that's the question. This could be just a map that is rich on coal overall. And yeah, there's coal everywhere, okay, so probably just a strategic monopoly. But still, pretty good. But, um... I think now we can make a cut. I'll have to think a bit about how I want to approach the, the Siege of Madrid. Uh, and um, yeah, in the next episode, we'll try to take it. We'll see if it goes as smoothly as the Siege of Murcia. Uh, and as usual, I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.